It smells like feet. <laughs> Don't think your skin big vanish. Hey my loves, welcome back to the Acne channel. It's your girl Liz, aka Pretty Progress 23. So today's video is all about the famous apple cider vinegar known as ACV, which is the type of vinegar made out of fermented apples. So there are so many different uses from medicine for infections, for beauty treatments such as clay mask, drinking it orally, and it could also be for your food. So think about like the dressing for your salad. But today's video is primarily focusing on how apple cider vinegar can be used to treat your acne in many different ways. So that could be drinking it orally or that could be using it topically. I'm going to break down these methods and also give you my thoughts on whether it's actually effective, whether it's safe to do it, um, and how long you need to do it for, etc. But before I start, I need to tell you that I'm not talking about your average apple cider vinegar that you see in your local markets where it's like very washed out yellow. So in particular, I'm talking about the one with the mother in it. As you can see, there's bits and pieces floating within the bottle and it looks pretty gross, but that's what you need. So when I'm talking about the mother, it's a substance with proteins, enzymes, and friendly bacteria. Okay, so let's get right into it. You can mix your apple cider vinegar with your clay to get a apple cider vinegar clay mask. And I actually love this combination. Apple cider vinegar has these antibacterial properties, which really help fight your blemishes. I've been using this for the longest time. This is probably also in my fourth tub and I don't know how many bottles I've gone through with apple cider vinegar. It's my holy grail but you have to use it correctly okay currently in the bathroom with my two favorite products i've got the indian aztec clay and the apple cider vinegar you want to put a 50 50 ratio so just a bit of clay and mixed apple cider vinegar you can use a tablespoon if you like but i just go by what i see and it starts to fizz and this is a chemical reaction which produces just the right ph so it's very skinly friendly and doesn't ruin the outer mantle of your skin whereas if you mix it with water the ph is going to be around eight and the clay mass itself will be a bit clumpy anyways i'm gonna apply this on my skin I've got a bit of congestion on my nose or on my cheeks and I like to apply this to get rid of the excess oil kind of unclog my pores and it's very therapeutic because it prevents me from picking up my skin um, and it calms down the inflammation so I highly recommend this okay so my layer of mask is starting to dry now as you guys can see it's only been about six seven minutes I'm gonna leave it on for another five to ten minutes I don't want to put the mask on for any longer because it's gonna be tugging and pulling your skin so just be very very careful you don't want the mask to be completely completely dry um, this is a pretty good amount okay so I just washed the mask off and my face is like slightly red but this goes away in like 20 minutes so see that line there it's just increasing that blood circulation um, and I absolutely love it so it's not meant to burn or anything um, it's just slightly red and it will go away very very soon and that's my skin. So the reason why this is a perfect mix is because this is way too acidic and this is way too alkaline. So when you mix the two, it kind of like cancels each other out and gives you the perfect pH for your skin. You can patch this just to make sure and see how your skin reacts to it. And then you can start figuring out what your best ratio is. Number two, the next method is making an apple cider vinegar toner. Now, I don't know if you ever smell apple cider vinegar, but I personally did not like apple cider vinegar sitting on my face. I smelled really horrible. And I remember that my boyfriend at the time was like oh my god I don't even want to kiss you okay so it's pretty easy you, you mix 50% of apple cider vinegar with water and you just use a cotton pad to wipe on your skin and now I'm not going to show you a video of me doing that because I think that mixing it with the water isn't the perfect balance for me I prefer with the clay because it's more alkaline water and apple cider vinegar is a little bit too um, strong for me and it's still acidic so I personally feel like it burned my skin and it's not a very convenient and pleasant way to use my skincare whereas with the clay it's only sitting on my my face for 20 minutes i'll wash it off and the smell is absolutely gone the reason why people like apple cider vinegar as a toner not only because it's antibacterial which kind of kills the acne causing bacteria but also because it pretty much acts as an exfoliant so apple cider vinegar has levels of acidity in it and so it's getting rid of all that dead skin cells allowing the renewal of new skin and that prevents the clogging of pores and as i said this is a method but just patch test first because personally it burnt my skin and i smelled like feet which i didn't really like number three is drinking apple cider vinegar orally this is actually part of my morning routine and it has been for the longest time you can drink one to two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar in a glass of water so about 250 mils the taste can be quite strong but over time you can get used to it add a little bit of lemon and manuka honey if you like just to make it a little bit sweet and bearable if you haven't ever had apple cider vinegar before so by drinking diluted apple cider vinegar it actually helps your acne in two main ways 
Firstly, ACV actually maintains your blood sugar by blocking the digestion of some particular starches. So when you're thinking of carbohydrate foods such as you know rice, wheat, bread, fruits with high sugar content, all of those causes your body to release a hormone called insulin. When your body is pumping out that extra insulin in your blood, your oil glands will start to produce excess sebum, which puts your risk at getting acne. So when I have an imbalance of blood sugar levels, I'm always craving for sugars and more carbs. And the one way to kind of balance it is by drinking apple cider vinegar in the morning to really maintain that balance and that way it not only stops the digestion of these starches but also prevents you from craving for these carbs and sugars so your hands are not going to go into the kitchen and grab whatever you find because that used to be me i didn't understand why i had such a strong craving for sugars um, it's because of my blood sugar levels they were in balance so secondly, apple cider vinegar also has probiotic compounds which help reintroduce the good bacteria in your gut. So again, if you have an imbalance of gut bacteria in your microbiome, it's going to offset a number of side effects. That includes acne, poor digestion, um, flatulence, poor breath, um, yeast infections, all sorts of things. Because if your gut is not functioning at its best, then your body isn't going to function at its full potential either. When I first started out in drinking apple cider vinegar, I put ice in it and I put lemon, I put manuka honey. Um, and while that's still good at the same time it's best to take out all those additional things i just start off with warm water with apple cider vinegar what i learned is that cold foods and cold drinks in the morning impede your digestion so you don't want to add anything cold um, you want to drink a warm cup of water a warm cup of water with apple cider vinegar um, so your body is already warm inside and if you're putting something cold it's forcing your body to put extra work and kind of breaking those foods down if your digestive system is running smoothly then you're able to get rid of that waste that your body doesn't need if your digestive Digestion is kind of um, hindered by a number of issues such as stress, not eating properly, birth control pills and antibiotics, then what happens is the waste and the toxicity is trapped in your body and it's going to show out on your face. And that's exactly what happened to me. Your body is a whole system. You need to make sure that you, you heal holistically. I know I say this in most of my videos, but I, I just want to emphasize the importance of not just drinking apple cider vinegar in the morning, but also eating nourishing foods that fuel your body sleeping adequately, drinking enough water. Apple cider vinegar is like a boost in your healing journey. It's not a, a miracle, but it definitely does help. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. You can find me on my other social media, such as Pretty Progress 23. Again, thank you, Banish, for having me on the Acne channel. Let me know what your thoughts are for apple cider vinegar. Big kisses. Bye, guys.